Ooh. Hi everyone, my name is May. Um, I stream on Twitch under CrybabyVT. Um, and I have some really cool things on my stream that I get asked for how I do them all the time. And today I will show you that. Um, let me give you a little preview of what they are. In this video, I'll show you how to do some dumb things such as adding a sound effect when somebody redeems a channel point. Good posture begins with a strong base. And I have things like this. Oh, my head's over like this. And um, at the end, I'll even show you how to do something as cool as this. So first, oh, we're in a tunnel. So first I want to show you um, how to set up OBS in a way that'll make your life a little bit easier for everything. Um, here you can see all of my scenes. Um, you can see that I have my alerts actually on its own source. So that will help you with a lot of things as far as even when you search or even when you like switch a scene, as you can see in like my chatting, it's on top here. Um, my starting screen, it's even there. My back screen, all my alerts are there. Like everything is there. It'll make your life a lot easier if you put all of your alerts and everything that you want on top of your stream in its own scene and then add it as a source. So as you can see, I have my sound alerts, green screen alerts, non recolored, and then recolored because I haven't changed them, whatever. And then I have things that we'll see here. I have stream avatars were there. And then if you have anything as far as like a Lauren board or cruise control, which we're gonna use here, um, you would want it on every single scene. So make sure that you have it in, you know, do you throw it in here? Great, it works there too. What you'll also see is that I have all of my captures in here as well. So as you can see, I have my um, display capture here. I have game, my Elgato, and then window when I have just a certain window I want open. And then I also have this video underneath. It's just an added touch. You don't have to do that. Or sometimes games take a bit to load and you don't want it to be sitting on like a black screen. If you have like an overlay that takes up your whole screen, you know, it doesn't really matter, but it's just an extra effect that um, I like to add. And then that's at the bottom. And I also have my mic there for on scenes where I use my mic. Um, so then you can see here that all of this is here. This is my overlay that I go here. So pretty much all I have on my normal scene for a game is um, my me, which is in a folder, which you will see later. And then um, I have my overlay, which puts up in the corner. And then I have my alerts that go on everything. So what I use is um, something called Cruise Control. It uses your OBS web sockets to talk to the program, we'll do the scripting, and then talk back to Twitch and everything like that. Um, there's tons of ways you can do this. You can use trigger fire. Um, I personally like to have it straight in here. That way I can do everything myself. I can add my green screen. I can edit it on the fly and make sure that everything happens the way I want it to. I'm not going to go into how to uh, download it, but the general idea is what you'll do is you'll download it. There's a tutorial here um, made by Cruiser himself. It's really helpful. You'll download this. It gives you a folder. You extract it. You have your settings. You do everything that you need to do. You come into here and you get your WebSocket, server settings, everything like that. The tutorial will help you and the documentation help will help you as well. So then once you decide on what you want to happen with your stream, it can do on pretty much anything. This documentation is great. I love this. It's so cool. Um, so once you figure out what you want, you will use search. Use search. Use control F and just search. The documentation is written out so well that pretty much what you need to find, you will find. You're like, oh, I want something to happen when I do a channel point. So you do channel points, da 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 you find it here. Then channel points, great. Um, <coughs> everything that you want to do will go under triggers. Uh, as you read, you can do triggers and put it in a thing, but I'm lazy, so I have it all together. So if you're, if you've seen my stream, you've seen a lot of this, and it's just now written out in text. But pretty much, um, whatever you want to do starts out with a trigger. So on, if I switch my scenes, I'll tell my bot to then say that I will be right back. Um, if I do a hydrate, I have all these random equals, blah, blah, blah. Everything that you want to start out with, if you even want, you can search here and you can search triggers. And you can see that there's a chat trigger, there's so much stuff that whenever that goes off, you, something will happen. So let's start out with my, I am hosting Pat. Hi, Pat. Oh, I'm, I'm coming. Hi, Pat. But my posture check, you do this. Good posture begins with a strong base. And the Wii Fit lady yells at me, and then my bot tells me that you better be sitting too, whoever redeemed it. 
So you will come. Make sure that what you set this as is exactly what you write here. So on channel point, and then you have your quotes, and then you, whatever you want will now be here. And then when you're done, you will leave an enter between, and then the next one. So this is a random equal, which you come here. What's a random equal? Random. Random equal just means that it's all equal. You actually don't even have to put equal, but I at some point had where I had the um, probability, but I deleted it, blah, blah, blah. You don't even have to do that. Everything in the quotes is what can happen in one instance. So you have random equal and it will play and it'll wait. You can see that when you do play. So cruise control has its own thing with the sounds. Anything that's in the sound, you just type out the thing. So we fit posture one. Fit posture one. Great. Um, you have the volume. Wait is if it waits until the song that is playing before plays then, but this is our only one, so it doesn't even matter what we put. And then that's it. And then it tells the chat um, one of these things, which is also random. That I care about my spine. You can tell I'm slouching. You better be sitting too, and my dog is barking. Hooray! We did our first one. So now, if you want something as cool as a head pad, ba -ba -da -ba, I'll show you how to do that. So, first, obviously, what you need is a video of a head pad, or a bonk, or a hydrate, whatever you want. Anything that you would want um, attached to your face, you should put in a folder. So see how my head pat is here in the folder. Um, this folder, sometimes I go over here and I play Dead by Daylight and I'm over here and someone's like, oh yo, bonk, right on my head and it still works over here. So when you're adding something that you want attached to your head, make sure that it's on a folder that way you can keep yourself all together. When you add your um, source that you want as your animation over your head, um, make sure that it restarts playback when it becomes active, show nothing when playback ends, close file when inactive, you know, the general thing that you only want this on while it's running. And you also want it to restart when somebody redeems it. So the script is going to tell this video to turn on, you want it to start from the beginning. If you need to add a filter for a chroma key because it's green screen, make sure you add it in and then put it in the folder with your head. Another tip is that if you have a bunch of scenes and you want something on your head and you want it in there everywhere on every scene, uh, make sure that it's on different scenes uh, named the same. So if I come to my zoom, hello, you can still bonk me here because I have it here as well. Um, in my chatting, I have it here. And if somebody bonks me here, still on my head. Even if you paste it uh, as a reference or a duplicate because you don't wanna have the same video over and over and over again, uh, just make sure that you keep it named the same thing. So there's two ways that you can turn a source on. This one is just called OBS source and it says this source must be in the active scene for this to trigger. Great, because that's what you want. You want it to be on the one that you are on. If I'm on my funny haha zoom face, then I want it there. If I'm on my scene for chatting, I want it there. So we come here, OBS source, head pats, we'll do head pats. OBS source, head pats on. We named it in head pats in every single scene. Um, this is my extra one that just tells, you know, that just adds to chat. And then you put a delay. The delay is just a way to wait. Um, so you can look at your video and it says three seconds. I have mine as six just to make sure that the video is done playing. And then you do off. So we turned it on. It says the chat message. It waits until the video is over. I put six seconds even though it's three. <laughs> and then it turns off. So the next time that somebody head pats you or bonks you or tells you to drink water and your video is done playing, the video is off so that it can start up again. So then we save. So if we did everything right, we can refresh this. Every time you write a script, make sure that you refresh this. So we refresh this, somebody redeems head pats. I get pat on the head. We did it. So now if we wanna do the BRB. Need two filters. Um, 
these you'll need downloaded and they were made by someone on the forums for OBS Studio. Uh, that's why we use OBS Studio because it's cool. Why do I keep swearing? It's because it's cool and you can put scripts made by other people. So the freeze one, um, when this is activated, you actually can put a timer on here. You don't have to script it in, which is really cool. It leaves you a spot in the script where you don't need to put anything in. So we hit freeze, I'm frozen for 600 milliseconds or 6 seconds. And I'm back! Um, and then we have the vintage one for Jojo, it's Sepia, whatever, how do you, however you say that. Um, I will also let you download that one too. So this one's a little bit different because I have two different actions that can happen um, on a random. So remember the random from earlier where we just used it to do random sounds and random chat messages? Um, you can also do that to do a whole um, command, a whole group of commands. Um, so this one, if you just wanted to do just pause the stream and you just wanted to put it here just so you could do the one, that's completely fine. I took the extra step to have both the we'll be right back and the JoJo to be continued. Um, I'll show you how to do both of those. They're pretty much the same as before, but now we're going to look for the filter tag. So you have the OBS source filter um, and you will just put the source which will be both your webcam and your grouped up capture. See, this is why that grouped up capture thing comes in handy. And this is also where you're gonna use the scene source action. So as you can see, the BRBs are actually on my um, overlay, on my alerts and overlay thing. Here's the JoJo and here's the BRB. So they're actually here. So this is where you're gonna actually use scene source and you're going to put, you're gonna put the source that it's in, which is in your alert slash overlays, and then the media name, which is JoJo or BRB, which is your video from before. Then you're gonna tell it to put on the freeze filter on both your webcam or your VTuber face, hey, and <laughs> also on your capture thing. Um, if you have, if you wanna put it on like your um, other scenes, you would have to list them here too. So you turn this on, you turn the freeze filters on both of them, delay just like before so that it can play uh, while the video is playing, and then you will turn the BRB um, video off. You don't have to turn off the freeze because like we said before, the freeze has its own little timer. With the JoJo one, um, I have a delay just because the music plays. I turn on both the freeze filters, and then I also turn the vintage filter on which changes the color. I do the delay so that I am frozen and the vintage filter is on and then I turn the filter and the video off. So I kind of explained it as if you were doing them with, you know, pause the stream, on channel point, pause the stream on top of these. So the on message command is when this is activated, it will send a message to the cruise control itself. So it could either send we'll be right back or it can send jojo when this pops off it will pick one of these and then as that message sends one of these will fire off so you will put message send we'll be right back and then on message if this message were to send this is what would happen so that's just so i can have two different brbs and not have to have two different channel routines and then it also makes it fun because it's random so once you learn how to do things you can just script a ton of different things i mean i'm sure there's like a bunch of different ideas you have with all of these just look around on what you can do like you can turn on um things when you change your source just like i have that brb to automatically happen um i have the thing so when i switch to my ending scene it tells the chat automatically thanks for coming to the stream don't forget your raid message and then post both the raid message for subscribers and ones with um global emotes so that people that aren't subscribed can do there's tons of things you can do is like as soon as you think of something you're going to think of something else which is really fun um and then it's all in-house in OBS, so you don't have to go out to like, you know, a different website and set it up and do a different scene for everything. You, you, the world is your oyster here with this. I hope that video helped you. <laughs> I hope it wasn't too confusing. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comments. You can come to my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash crybabyvt. I hope you have ideas for other things that I don't even have implemented. Uh, you can just, you know, turn on a video, just start a meme on a channel redeem. There's so much stuff you can do. Um, but I hope that helped a little bit and I'll have another video for you soon. I already have another idea. Goodbye. Subscribe on Twitch.